Right, that's the Triscum stone there. Neolithic or prehistoric, I can't remember which now. I can't remember the history of it. I'll have to look it up later. I missed that completely. I seen the wooden cross, but actually missed the stone completely. Now the return trip after Lydia Hill trig point well, should be a bit more easier, less hills. Also, I've got the camera working without any problems. It wasn't the camera, it wasn't the battery charger, it was the lead. So this is the 11th of August 2017. I've been on a long hike. It took me four hours to get from Holford to the top of Lydiard Hill. Um, but basically, I, that included lots of stopping, videoing, taking photographs, uh, plodding along at a nice gentle pace, uh, videoing different the Angus she, uh, cows, um, the the um, Quantock foals and and horses, and I've got lots and lots of very small snippets of video because what was happening was the um, video kept on cutting out because the lead. The lead wasn't working properly, so I was unable to really, what I do call a consistent video, for quite a long, long time. It was alright when I came across the top of um, the Quantox, but as soon as I got to a point where I was coming down this way, the battery kept saying it was empty, um, I can only take the odd photo, it wouldn't video more than 10 seconds. Um, so I've kept the snapshots and I now know that this is a nice walk to do when there are alternative ways to here as well. I'm now going to take a lovely walk back. Heading for Bickernoller Post. Heading for Hodder's Coombe, Holford Glen and Alberta. It's a lovely day and it's going to be a really lovely evening as I progress along. Just look at that beautiful scenery out there. Look at it. It's absolutely magnificent. And these huge trees that line this avenue. They almost form a path along the top in some places between tree. This is some, some sort of drove. Um, they're all over the place, these droves, where people would have taken animals to market from different places. This is an ancient trackway. Like we've got the West Mendit Way, there's these various ways. Um, Macmillan Way, there's lots of them. I'm not, I'm not um, referring to the map very much, so I'm not very good at... Uh, telling you every single name at the moment but this is called the Drove Road for obvious reasons and it really is a beautiful walk what I've done today it was very very hot earlier I'm glad to be in the trees for a bit of the time now some beautiful views over Somerset just absolutely gorgeous really the whole experience and there's more to explore um, the styles everywhere where you can come and go and I'm basically I've got um, West Bagra to do so I've got that for another day now the next good day I'll be out in Alberta see styles dog styles as well. <coughs> I'm heading back now along the drove towards where the Angus cows were. Beef cattle. There were some little hairy calves. A huge bull. <coughs> Great big horns they've got. I 
and um, over there you can sort of see the tops of pine trees well that's where Harry takes some of my kids grandchildren his children he it's called Greatwood and it's very uh, a common place for schools to take their pupils for um, a week's educational visit Duncan and uh, my my three kids um, went there with uh, their their primary school um, so they ha they have been made familiar with this area whether they remain and they did nice little projects as well <sighs> yeah I'm enjoying it I mean I must admit I've done quite a bit that was a big hike and um, and it's, I mean all around me here um, I don't know if the camera was picking it up but the views through the trees you know, you've got those lovely trees with beautiful views beyond. And it really is magnificent. But it's a long hike over here from Holford where I've parked. Um, there, there won't be... Well, I doubt it. There will be people that do what I've done and will hike over here. I actually like being based in Holford. I have, I've got a very special feeling for the place. Um, do you know what I mean? I've got a special bond there. <sighs> in a minute, I'm going to have something to eat and a drink of water. I've hardly touched anything. Because um, I've been having to fiddle with the, the camera. I've turned off the fast zoom because that seems to eat a lot of the battery very quickly. I noticed that. Although it is handy to have fast zoom, what I'll have to do is um, just have it on for short periods, fast zoom. Um, when you're going out for the day, it will eat a lot of your... Um... See, look, there's a walk through there. That would be views if you went that way. Walk down through there. Everywhere you look, there are little walks that you can go on. If you live round here, you'd never be bored. There's just so much to do. I mean, I'd like to go in another time, go down where the red quarry is there at Triscombe and examine the geology there. I mean, I've just walked down above it. I mean, earlier I was at, right over there, going climbing up the top there. I was climbing up there earlier. And um, that's the that's the quarry. Yeah, I'd like to go and have a look over there another time. There'll be a circular walk you can probably do. That would take you. I've just seen somebody walking now. Where you can go through that way instead of always being on the drove. <clears throat> you can't do it all at once. These lovely trees. Beautiful, isn't it? You just wonder why they're out here. They must have been planted on purpose, wasn't they? For a reason why they're here. That was a man-made decision, I would have thought. <clears throat> now, if we go over here, we can look down through this valley. <coughs> a nice V-shaped valley, look. Oh, there's a little dog in view. And as you can see, there's lots of little walks you can do just in there alone. Lovely, lovely trees. They're so individual as well. Even though they look alike, they've got features about them that's... Look at that one there. And you, like I said, you can walk along the top in some instances between the trees. See? God, it's such a beautiful place. So beautiful.
progress. I'm videoing, and what I'm doing is making up for what I lost on the way down through this wood because of the problems with the uh, connection lead. I used to have problems with this other one. The one I've got now, this is, this is only like a three inch lead, so I'm having to hold the battery charger close to the camera. Whereas what was handy about having the long lead, I could put the battery charger in my pocket and the long lead would reach up to the camera when I was using it. I have got, I just have to get another, I have got another longer lead. I just have to use that one. I've got a black one, it might be a better quality as well. This is probably a cheap one from Poundland. <sighs> a very, very expensive camera though. <laughs> it's only little, but it's cost me 360 quid. <sighs> yes, 360 pounds for this camera. I mean, people that are loaded would think that's nothing. But when you've gone from like a 25 pound one for most of your life, it's a big hike up. So, you know, a couple hours ago I was walking down this route. Yeah, I was walking down here earlier. Alright, turn off, Jill. <laughs> 